In this video, I want to share with you how I diagnosed a window circuit where the fuse was blowing about once a month. I used a power probe amp clamp to do this job, so let's get started. All right, so I'm having a problem with my window circuit. I'm actually blowing a fuse. I figured it out, but I wanted to show you what I did to figure this out. So I marked all the wires. So this one goes to the left rear window, the blue one, the right rear, the yellow is the driver, and then the brown is the passenger. So what I wanna do is measure the current when the window's rolling up and down and compare them with each other. So we're gonna start with the purple left rear. It's like 3.2. And that one, do it again. 3.2 was probably the highest. And 3.7, that's the left rear. Now let's do the right rear. Okay. Uh, 2.2, all the way up to three and a half. Okay, let's go to the right front. Let's zero it. So I got up to four on the way up. Okay. And now the passenger side, which this is the one. I found to be faulty. Zero it out. Six, eight, four on the way down. And almost nine on the way up. And listen to the way it sounds. So that was my problem is the right front window. All right, I was able to get my new motor installed. Let's go see what my new current readings are. Okay, I'm gonna recheck the current on the passenger window with new motor in. Let's put it on the 40 amp scale. Let's zero it. Let's get that over the brown wire. And Let's go down. Let's go. All right. All right. So 1.3 on the way down. And 3.62 on the way up. I would say that's success. This reading is more consistent with the others and I'm confident I won't have any more problems.